man the candidates go to for economic advice. Heritage Foundation Steve Moore is with us. All right, Steve, who's got the best tax plan? <laughs> hey, Charles, good morning. Uh, I'll be out there in Milwaukee tomorrow as well. Um, look, I think there are a lot of really good plans out there. I, I was just so heartened to hear that report about Ben Carson coming out with the, what do you call a proportional tax. Uh, some, some of us call that a flat tax. Wonderful. I know that Ben Carson has talked about a tithing tax of 10 percent. You can't get much better than that in terms of reducing the uh, the uh, negative consequences of our tax system. Um, the big story here, I think, Charles, and I have worked with a lot of these candidates, They all, on the Republican side, they virtually all want to cut tax rates. They all want to reduce the business tax, which we've talked about so sure. much on your show, is so detrimental to our uh, economy. So it's hard to say which one is best, but they're all really headed in the right direction. Well, I like Rand Paul's plan a lot because I helped write that one. <laughs> well, you know, it's so funny because the Tax Foundation uh, with the dynamic scoring actually says that Rand Paul's is the only one that could actually generate, uh, you know, take the deficit down, add, you know, to the economy. It's almost, almost $800 billion. And that's the big question. We're all supply siders, right? But there is yeah. a limit. We wouldn't have 0% tax and we wouldn't right. have a government. So where's that magic number? Because Donald Trump's plan would create over 5 million jobs, but also could create 12 trillion in, in deficit. So <laughs> where do we find that happy medium? So here's an important point that I think your viewers need to understand. There's all these numbers being thrown out there, Charles. You just threw some of them out about, you know, what this one's going to cost, that one's going to cost. And here's a really important new element of this debate. For the first time, we actually have Congress using what we call dynamic scoring. And what that means is when they look at a tax plan now, Charles, they're not just looking at, you know, the what we call the static revenue sure. loss, but what, how much does the economy grow? And if the economy grows, as you said, by another 5 million workers, that, that, right, Charles, that's going to add a lot of revenues but, but to the still, government. Real quick, though, Steve, yeah. but the tax foundation says even, even with dynamic scoring, Trump's plan will cost $10 yeah, trillion. that's right. Everybody's that's plan right. will cost money except for the Rand Paul plan. That's exactly right. But, so, but the candidates the way, are going to say, hey, that's wrong. You had 5 million jobs in this economy. Forget about it. There won't be a deficit. We'll have prosperity. Well, look, if, it, if you could get 5 million jobs, even by raising the deficit, I'd certainly be in favor of that. I mean, we just, we just spent, uh, what, $800 billion under Barack Obama on a stimulus plan that didn't create a single job whatsoever. Right. So, but, but the point I think I'm making is you're going to hear all these candidates tomorrow night really talking about why my tax plan is best. I think they're all good. What makes me, what heartens me about this debate, Charles, these guys are finally listening. We've got a kind of consensus that our tax system is a piece of junk. It has to right. be thrown out completely. We've got to start over. You know, the, the fundamental right. principle, I think, Charles, of a good tax system, get the rates low, get the base broad. And, and, you know, as Ben Carson said this morning, you know, Charles, you make 10 times more money than I do. So you're going to pay 10 times more tax, not 100 sounds times fair. more tax. Sounds fair. <laughs> and actually sounds progressive. Hey, Steve, thank you very much. Really appreciate okay, it. Okay, Charles.